just got some huge news from Apple. It's Monday, July 24th, and they've opened up their application process for the Vision Pro Dev Kit. You can get a Vision Pro device loaned to you for the development of your idea. Whether you're brand new and you don't know where to start, or you're a developer looking to explore, you've reached the right place. So let's learn together and let's get spatial. surprise I opened up my developer app and I saw this get ready for the Apple Vision Pro now you can take your apps and games beyond the Vision OS simulator this is the website you need to go to to apply for the Apple Vision Pro developer kit have an innovative idea for an app or a game for Vision OS that requires building and testing on the Vision Pro apply for Vision Pro developer kit this kit will help you deliver amazing spatial experiences by letting you quickly build iterate and test on Vision Pro down here, you can see how it works. We'll loan you, you don't get to keep this. Remember these devices are $3,500. We'll loan you a Vision Pro developer kit to prepare your app for the launch of the new app store on Vision Pro. You'll also receive help setting up the device and onboarding, check-ins and Apple experts for UI designs and development guidance and help refining your app. Two additional code level support requests so you can troubleshoot any issues with your code. The Apple-owned development device needs to be returned upon request. Submit a brief application to the Vision Pro Developer Kit. This is key. You need to be an account holder in the Apple Developer Program. Provide details for your team's development skills and existing apps and agree to terms and conditions. Applications will be reviewed and priority will be given to applications creating an app that takes advantage of Vision OS features and capabilities. If you're not a developer, you won't be able to apply for this. But let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So if I click on apply, you have to log in with your Apple developer account. I'm going to go ahead and log in with mine. You can see we've received your application. Thank you for your interest. We'll get back to you soon with your status. If you wish to withdraw, you may do so. I'm definitely not withdrawing. So let me show you what it would look like if you have a developer account. Here's what it looks like if you sign in with your developer account. At the top, it's going to have your information. Here you need to set your primary goal. Please select the primary reason you need a developer kit. I like to create a new app for this platform and I have detailed plans for my app. I like to bring my immersive app from a non-Apple platform to Apple Vision Pro. I like to build a new Vision Pro app based on my existing iPad OS, iOS, or Mac OS app. I like to view and test how my existing iPad OS or iOS app will work on a compatible app on the Apple Vision Store. So you can select any of these. And then you can see the drop down app information in this section. Tell us about your app idea and build for the Apple Vision Pro and how it will utilize key Vision OS capabilities. Remember, those capabilities are eyes and hand tracking, also voice. How is your app going to utilize that? That's what's going to make it stand out and allow you to possibly be an awardee to get a loaned Apple Vision Pro device for your development. Describe your user experience you have in mind. This information will be used to allocate kits in the order to ensure a diverse set of apps when the App Store launches on Apple Vision Pro. Here are your categories. There are a bunch of them that you can select. How long do you think it will take? If you're creating an app from scratch, it's gonna take you longer than three to six months, or maybe not. If you're converting an app from another platform for the Vision Pro, it may take you longer than three to six months. It all depends on your development but Apple's gonna be there to help you along the way. Underneath development experience, you have platforms. Select the platforms for which you've previously developed, and you can select any one of these. Tools and frameworks, select up to three tools and frameworks that you've used to develop software with. This is optional. Skills, select up to two skills you have proficiency in. Again, this is also optional. If you wanna be one of the awardees, I definitely would fill this out. Ignore that optional tag there. Relevant work, you're going to paste your App Store URL here. That's optional. And then also any additional link that you want here. You could see it could be a website, a demo video, etc. Here's your terms and conditions. You scroll down and you press apply. It's as simple as that. Go to this website now and apply for Vision OS Dev Kit. How great would it be each spatial Sunday as you continue to learn with me? 
that you can deploy your app directly to the device and try it on, not use the XROS simulator. So definitely go apply now. If you haven't checked out Spatial Sunday from yesterday, you can learn how to use Swift UI to create the Visit California app with dioramas. Definitely go check that out and I'll see you this upcoming Spatial Sunday. AR is going to change the world. Everyone can learn, so let's create a diverse group of immersioneers. Learn more about Vision OS or Lightship by subscribing, liking, and sharing today.